Hey guys, so I'm going to do kind of, of an unboxing review, go through the next couple weeks with me of this Silken Flash and Go Express. I got this from Influencer. I'll make sure to link down the link to Influencer for y'all down below. Pretty much you'll just, they give you things to try out for free and you just test them out and share your reviews. You don't have to fall in love with them and be like, oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. You can give your honest opinions on Influencer and that's what I love. So they recently reached out to me the, with the company Silken and this is their Flash and Go Express. They did give me a little card and pretty much it is a hair removal device that is for painless at home solution for permanent hair removal. It is a revolutionary light based system for permanent results. Perfect for sensitive areas like bikini lines, but versatile enough for legs and arms. It, it says it removes unwanted hair on body and face with permanent results. Easy, safe, and painless. Saves hundreds of dollars versus professional treatments. No more waxing, shaving, or plucking. And it says it's dermatologist recommended. So, this is the box that it comes in. Uh, mine's a little damaged from how it came in shipping, but it again is like the hair removal. It's pretty heavy, but it has 300,000 pulses. I don't know what that means, but it just says up to two times faster. So, let's just go ahead and open this and see what we got here. So it comes in this big purple kind of box, and this is for girls and guys, as you can tell on the side. So inside, oh, this is pretty nice. Inside, it comes with like a gray case. It's pretty sturdy, but and it has the brand Silken on it. So when you unzip it, this is the inside. So, it looks like it comes with the actual device and then like a plug which has like, I know this is interesting, the plug is pretty interesting, but we'll see, I'll have to read the instructions, so I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions and then I'll check back with you guys when I first use this and try and temp attempt for my first try how to use this product so I'll check back with you guys in a little bit hey guys so I am back and you may notice I'm in a different outfit because I did need to go take a shower so I do want to tell you about this though a little bit more after reading it it isn't for everybody you do have to be light to fair skin if you do have dark complexion it won't work and it actually can cause some irritations or skin problems I actually cut myself while shaving on my elbow because I want to try and test this out on my arms that's ex where I would kind of not like to shave anymore but it says don't use it on tan skin or after recent sun exposure don't use it after recent sun exposure again. Don't use it around or near your eyes, but it can be used from your cheekbones down. Don't use it anywhere on your ears, nipples, or genitals, or around the anus. These areas may have more sensitive skin, a darker skin tone, and or greater hair density, and the device there may cause some skin injury. It says it's not recommended on a man's face, jaw, or neck. So men, you cannot use this to try and get rid of your beard or mustache. Um, because it says that the hair is too dense. Let's see. And again, it says to avoid round eyes. Can't use them when pregnant. So basically, there are... I keep bleeding. No. But anyway, there's um, a lot of people who may not be able to use this product. So, let me go back to the page where we use it and set it up. So right now, I do have it plugged into the wall, and when you first plug it in, you plug it in the device in like this and into the wall. It has this 
circular area. I don't know if you can see that is currently flashing. That is your different levels, or they call them. What do they call these? They call them. I'm trying to get the outer box again. Energy levels. So I'm going to show you guys on this box because it's in color. But this, these are the skin tones. And then what level, if you have like blonde hair or any of these other colors, what level that you should do. It says that it should be, I'm like legit bleeding. Um, it says that you should do the lightest energy level first. And then if you can handle more, then you can pump it up. So in treating with flash and go for the first time, so this is where we're at. The skin should be shaved, clean, dry, and free of any powders, antiperspirants, or deodorant. So that's what I did. I went and took a shower, and that's why my elbow is bleeding, because I shaved my elbow, and I cut it by accident. But anyway, it says, then we press the central button, which is this button right here, briefly, to energy one, LED turns on. I don't know how you know. I don't know how you can tell if it's on energy one because it keeps going in a circle. Oh, so you actually hit the power button, which is right there. So now it's making kind of like a fan noise. It says the light will turn on. The device is now set to deliver the lowest energy. I hope you guys can hear me with that fan. Lowest energy level pulses. The device for, is ready for you to trigger the pulse. So I'm assuming this button right here was that trigger button. If you wish to change the energy level, press the central button quickly and repeatedly to increase the energy level. Okay, whenever it's turned on, its energy level will automatically be reset to the lowest energy level. Only one energy level light will be on. So apply the treatment surface, which is this area right here, to the skin, making sure the skin is spread evenly and smoothly, and the treatment surface is in full contact with the skin. Make sure the ready is blinking slowly. I don't know. Okay, so Let's just do it on the arms. So I'm going to lower you down a little bit and we're going to just go down the arm. So let's press the pulse trigger. The device will first determine the color of your skin. If the color of your skin is light enough for safe application, the device will flash a pulse of light onto your skin. You will see a bright flash of light and simultaneously hear a subtle pop sound, which is normal for the device. So, let's just start off with my wrist right here, because that seems the safest. So, I'm going to have to do this. I guess I'll come around and do it like this. Okay, so it needs to be plugged in. I tried unplugging it. So for my first time using the Flash and Go Express by Silken, which is right here, y'all would have seen little clips of me using it just now. And just to recap, it's not as easy as you would think to use this. At the end, I noticed that there would be big flashes and that heat sensation that they were talking about, but it wouldn't happen all the time. And I don't. And after I was starting to get that big flash, I couldn't figure out really how to 
keep that going on the whole all the areas that I would like to use so I don't know I'm gonna have to keep playing with this and I will check back with you guys in a couple weeks to let you guys know how this product is going I'm gonna just have to do a little bit more research but that guys is my first impression of the flash and go express by silken so check back in a couple weeks to see if I figured out how a better way to use this than how it was. If you guys have this product or device and know how to use it and have found good ways to use it, let me know down below. I'd love to know and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.